Hello, today we are going to talk about a uh, curve tracer, that's a classic Tektronix 577 and uh, I had it for a while but I finally need to uh, get it going because I have run into uh, transistor trouble uh, in the restoration of another piece of equipment. Uh, I like this one, it says it belongs to engineering. Uh, and uh, like most of the stuff I get, it doesn't quite uh, work. So I turn it on and there's a little dot, which is good. I put a diode in there. But this doesn't do anything. But I think I know what it is. It feels loose. So I bet you the, the shaft is broken. That might be a simple thing to repair. So I love those. Tektronix scopes, they are made for maintenance and you can open them as a coin even with a screwdriver so let's see what's in there heh <laughs> exactly, so that's exactly what I thought would happen and it's a common ailment of these is that uh, the coupling has broken here and uh, it might, might be a very simple repair. Let's see if I can get it to work by turning this manually. Okay, it says danger high voltage. Uh, okay, brightness, brightness, intensity. Okay, so here I have a little dot. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can see it in the camera. Let me see. Try not to electrocute myself. Yeah, that's all that's wrong with it. Here's a curve. Uh, okay. So I guess that's uh, not a very difficult repair. So why am I not seeing uh, polarity? Whoops. No, I didn't like this. Okay, I have to first uh, figure out how to use it. Uh, okay, I just spent some time fitting with the buttons and uh, Finally, after turning a few times back and forth, it's uh, a curve tracer. Uh, it's a nice diode. So that would be a simple repair. And oh, by the way, I'm not the first one to repair it. They, uh, they had put a blade in here, but of course it's too stiff, so it broke the other one. So this is a beautiful repair. Unfortunately, they glued that part on, uh, so... It's going to be pretty hard to remove it without breaking it. Ugh, got it. Alright. Okay, I have to break the plastic, but it's dead anyhow. And I'm thinking I might just use a piece of uh, no semi flexible tube in here. That might be much easier. Right. I didn't have a clamp, so I just drilled right through. Okay, that should work good enough. Uh, this was a nice machine to repair, it told me right away. A good transistor from a bad transistor. Yeah. Okay, I guess it's actually a resistor, what it's called. A, it's called a short circuit, actually. <laughs> That's what it is. For those who are not familiar with uh, what a curve tracer is, it's uh, basically a glorified uh, IV tester. It uh, makes IV curves and uh, this one is partly nicely made. You have all kind of fixtures that go on it. 
uh, you can test left or right and compare uh, I have a whole collection here uh, for example here on the right I'll put a, a holder and I'll just put a, a resistor so we're going to do an IV curve of a resistor which is ohms low and should give us a, tr a straight line so it's not that interesting uh, but uh, it's not cooperating with me here there we go uh, so what you get is this is voltage and this is the intensity through the resistor and it's a straight line so of course you don't use it for resistors uh, you use it for active components such as this diode uh, which gives much more interesting curves and uh, here you can see that uh, in the front and uh, positive voltage it conducts with a drop of uh, 0.2 volts, so it's a low voltage drop uh, diode, and it's an isolator on the other one. Uh, on uh, so it's a it's a nice rectifier. Uh, one of the great feature of this instrument is that it can go to really high voltages. And so let me crank it uh, to uh, 25. Let's go to 100 volts. Uh, at which point this light illuminates to tell me it's getting dangerous and you have actually to defeat uh, the interlock or it uh, wouldn't work um, but um, so now I am going to try to look for the reverse breakdown voltage here uh, so I switch to 20 volt per division and boom the diode turns on and now we're at minus 20 minus 60 and up here's the breakdown of the diode so it's a really uh, low turn on but the breakdown is actually fairly low 60 uh, volts okay but uh, let's switch to something even more interesting here uh, let's put the transistor in here we go and for the transistor, we are not in, we are only interested in the positive part of the curve. So I'm going to drive it only positive. So now with the transistor in it, uh, there's one more uh, pin to it. There's the base. Uh, so in regular mode, you don't do anything to the base. It just gives you the uh, emitter collector current, and when it's not biased, it's not conducting. Uh, so here is. The knob that controls the base current and if I start to raise it then I see the transistor starting to conduct and to saturate and of course what you do usually you don't raise it by hand and uh, you want a family of curves so there is a nice integrated stepper here uh, that can raise the button for you and here it has two steps and then three, four, five, six, uh, and more steps. Uh, so here, what you see uh, is another nice feature of the curve tracer that it limits the participation of the transistor all by itself. And this one is a part transistor, so I can, uh, it's, it's a 15 watt uh, or more, so I can go to nine. There you go, and I see the, the, the whole series of curves of the transistor and so it gives you by how high that goes gives you the gain and it gives you the linearity or how equally space and this is, this is a very nice uh, power transistor by the way uh, and then also having uh, the ability to go to high voltages is key so let's put it to a hundred here and let's go to five volt per division or actually ten volt per division uh, and we're going to look for the breakdown of this transistor so it's a 40 volt uh, so it should happen yeah by try there Zloop. there you go it happens at 50 uh, no right on the money uh, where it's predicted to so you get a pretty cool view of uh, what uh, your transistor is all in one shot so it's a it's a nice and uh, funny instrument to work with Uh, this is the transistors I took out of the uh, data I.O. and which uh, tested good at a at 100 gain. 
and uh, it shows that it's a very good transistor. So the way I'm set up here, this is a 10 volt per division, so this is uh, up to 80 volts. Uh, right here, actually 90 volts, and so shows no sign of, of breakdown. And this is what I thought was a bad transistor, and it really is bad. Whoop! Okay, so this is not a transistor anymore. And then I had a real high voltage transistor. This one comes from a TV drive stage, so it says 600 or 800 volt. Uh, but you see the problem with these is that no, they'll go forever in voltage. Uh, but uh, they trade that off for having almost no gain. Uh, I think the specs say 10. Uh, so it is just, uh, it's just nothing here. It's like new transistor, but not good for what I want to do. It says it's a 100 volt transistor. Uh, so that, okay, gain is exactly the same. Uh, it's not quite the 100 volts. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 70, 80, but that's good because there is no more than 60 volt in the circuit. So, oh, I think I can use it in the uh, as a replacement in the data I/O. 